Despite the loss last week, Oregon still in the driver's seat to win its first Pac-10 title since 2001. The last team to do it, not named USC. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on the College Football Preview Show. Presented by Tyson Anytizers. Let's bring in CBS Sports' and Spencer Tillman to break this down. Oregon welcoming Arizona State. And Spence, let's just start it off with this. What happened to the Ducks last week when they went to Stanford? Well, let me just say this. I don't think it was a case of them looking ahead. I think it was a case of them running into a Stanford team that may not have been on our radar, but they've been on everybody else's radar and their own, most importantly. They've got a tricky offensive style with the, the with the college football's best power runner and Tony Gerhardt, and I think they just stunned them. I think that's what they did. They were able to score and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and, and ultimately uh, eke out a victory. And yeah. It's an impressive team. No shame, though, in losing to Stanford. No, Stanford's undefeated at home this season, but uh, they were yeah. down by 20 in the fourth quarter after beating mm -hmm. USC by 26. The other issue with Oregon this week is that, you know, it has taken a little bit off of the, the loss to Stanford is the fact that nationally what people are focusing on, the reinstatement of LeGarrette Blunt. Now he's back mm -hmm. with the team. He's eligible to play this weekend against Arizona State. What should we expect in terms of what they're going to do with him on the field? Well, just don't expect uh, Chip Kelly to disrupt what he's done. I mean, LaMichael James has done a tremendous job. In fact, last week, over 100 yards again. Uh, I don't know how many 100-yard performances he has on the year, but it's a ton. He's done a tremendous job instead uh, at the running back position in for LeGarrett Blount. And to disrupt that right now would be a major issue. You don't want to disrupt the continuity that you've established without one of the top rushers in the league in the mix. They've got him listed fifth in the depth chart. I don't know how fast he'll ascend to the top, but uh, uh, work him in slightly, pepper him in there a little bit, but don't disrupt things right now. Yeah, uh, LaMichael James is the first freshman in Oregon history to run for 1,000 yards, and he's done that uh, coming in uh, for LeGarrette yeah. Blunt. When you talk about Arizona State, Spence, last week put up a good fight. Uh, lost again, though, to, to USC. Uh, defense is great. Dennis Erickson's got a great defense. Offense, not so great. Eighth in the Pac-10 in scoring, eighth in the Pac-10 in, in total yards. So what's the key here for the Sun Devils to pull the upset? Well, first of all, they got to hope for a miracle because uh, this Oregon team <laughs> is going to score. Hope for a miracle. Yeah, hope for a miracle, <laughs> absolutely. Because there's no way you can stop Oregon from scoring. I don't care. I mean, I'm, plus they're adding uh, Legarrette Blount again. We just talked about how much or how little he'll play. I don't think it'll be a huge factor. But irrespective of that, Jeremiah Masoli, their outstanding quarterback, has an affinity for attacking the edges with that option attack, unlike any quarterback I've seen this year. Uh, withstanding the Georgia Tech, I mean, Nesbitt's a pretty good guy too uh, for them under center. But I, I think that the only way you can contend with them is to force turnovers. That's the best strategy to deal with this Oregon power attack and power in the terms of the option game and then the ability to attack the edges with their power rushing attack. And you can't give it away. They uh, had four turnovers last week against USC and one of them was taken back uh, for a yeah. touchdown. And, and look for this. We could see six foot eight redshirt freshman quarterback yeah. Brooke Osweiler uh, for, for mm -hmm. Dennis Erickson. That's fun. You don't often see a quarterback who's, uh, you know, Carl Malone size. <laughs> well, he's a good one. He took him on an 80-yard drive. He couldn't pay it off with a touchdown, got a field goal out of it. But you look at Ryan Mallett, you know, a guy who's 6'7". Yep. Those guys have a decided advantage uh, over some of those defenses. So we'll look to see if he can pull it off. All right, but I don't, you don't think they're going to pull off the upset. This series nah, does go in spurts. Not going to happen. Yeah, Oregon's won four straight, and this series goes in spurts. So we'll see how it plays out. Spencer T., thank you very much, sir. Okay, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, for more on this game, stay right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the College Football Preview Show, presented by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.